Hello friends, Steve Davies here from Affiliate Buzz Central. I know that some of you are new to YouTube, so I thought I would make a quick tutorial that shows how to prevent visitors from leaving immediately after watching videos on your website or blog. Here's what I'm talking about. Let me take you down to my video. Hi, this is Steve Davies, and to thank you, and I look forward to working with you guys in the near future. All right, thank you very much, Steve Davies. Signing out. Okay, as you can see right here, it pulls up related videos. These are really not related videos. These are his history videos, but whether or not it's related, um, it's a big distraction, right? So we all know by now that YouTube is an awesome resource to use if you're uploading videos due to the excellent SEO advantages your website gets from Google. And in case you don't know, SEO is an acronym which stands for Search Engine Optimization. The reason YouTube videos get so much love on search is because it's owned by Google, the number one search engine in the world, right? So whether you like it or not, it's only to your advantage that you use YouTube as a placeholder for all of your website videos. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't also put your videos on other video sites as well. By all means you should. But as far as videos placed on your website goes, it's a very smart move to use YouTube. Now here's a huge problem I've seen with uploading videos and embedding them on your website though. This is typically a problem people face if they are new to video and that's this. When a visitor goes to your website to watch one of your videos, at the end of your video you'll notice that YouTube shows related videos as soon as your video ends like you see right here. This is not good because these days people are extremely distracted and if the visitor is watching your video and it ends with a dozen other choices chances are they'll click on one and leave your website. It doesn't matter how polished your video is, if a visitor gets distracted, they'll go elsewhere. It's just a known fact. You want them to stay on your site as long as possible so they can read your articles, watch your other content videos, so in the end, they'll sign up to your newsletter or take some form of action, right? Having said all this, if your visitor is on YouTube watching your video, there's not much you can do about it. But there is something you can do if they are on your website watching the video. In case you don't know, you can control whether a visitor sees these related videos or not by simply turning this function off in the settings on YouTube. Now like I said, you can't control this function if they are on YouTube watching, but you can if they are watching from your website. To do this, you'll need to go to your YouTube channel and find the video you want to put on your website by selecting and clicking the link near the top of the page listed as videos and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go over to YouTube. I'm going to go to my channel and click on videos right here. Now it should show all your videos that you've uploaded with the latest one showing first. Once on your videos page select and click on your chosen video. Hi this is Steve Davies and you will now click on the share button on the lower right hand side below the video. Now find the link titled embed, click on it and you'll now see some options. I'm on a desktop computer so the embed code is off to the right. Now before you copy the embed code you have a few choices. You'll notice there's a box that's already checked by default that says show suggested videos when the video finishes. You'll need to uncheck this box by simply clicking on this box. Now you will need to go back up to the area above that shows the embed code you will copy to put in your website. Now you can copy it by clicking this area right here or you can copy it by simply clicking this copy button. And if you look at the lower left hand side of this video, you'll see that it's being copied to the clipboard. So what you want to do is just leave it off. Next, you'll want to go to your website. I'm using WordPress, so I'll go to my chosen post where I want my video displayed or where I want to change it, whatever the case may be. Hi, this is Steve Day and I'm already logged in but if you're not logged in go ahead and log in and go to your actual post that you want to edit okay so this is my post and right now the code 
has not been changed. Whenever this video ends, it'll show related topics, related videos, right? So what we want to do is since we've already copied our information to the clipboard, you want to just go up to text. And if you have not already done so, uh, go ahead and just right click and paste wherever you want the video to show up. Or if you've already done it and you want to edit it, just copy by highlighting this area with your mouse, right click your mouse, and then just type in or click paste. Now you'll notice that this right here, the question mark REL equals zero pops up, which means it should be showing your video without the related videos attached. So what we're going to do next is just update. So it's been updated. And if I go back to text, let's see. Yes, it's there. So now I'm going to go back to the actual post. And this post here should be updated. I'm going to play it again. Hi, this is Steve Davies. And go all the way to the end. With you guys in the near future. All right. Thank you very much. Steve Davies signing out. Okay, so if done correctly, you'll no longer see related videos at the end of the video. Uh, just verify that it works by playing the video near the end and just let it play out, and you should now be good to go. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my blog by going to affiliatebuzzcentral.com. And on the right side of my blog, simply fill out the form. You'll see right here. Click Submit. And you'll be on your way to receiving updates, new blog posts, and tips on how to jumpstart your website and become an affiliate marketer. Thank you so much for visiting, and I hope to see you soon. Steve Davies, and I'm out of here.